morning. I feel like every day from here on out, I'm gonna be in this robe. It's not very long, that kind of bugs me, but when I'm cooking, I, also, I don't have to roll my sleeves up very high. So I like that. Look at these naughty elves. No one can even sit on this couch now. Well, over here, but not there. My sourdough, I put it in the refrigerator because of timing. There was no way I was gonna get up what time did I do that? I was not gonna get up at three in the morning and do the sourdough, there's no way. So I did what I think is called a bulk fermentation in the fridge. It just, from what I've heard and read, it just helps fermentation, but at a slower pace. So if you don't have the time, you can just put it in the fridge while it does its thing. And I've got two batches. So what I think I'm gonna do, because you can leave it in there, it's like 24 hours, I think. I need to Google. But my alarm went off. That's why I'm awake. I'm supposed to be doing something with it. My book says eight to 10 hours. I'll do one for now, and then I'll do the other at 24 hours, so that's tonight. I'm getting hot in this actually. Danny made it home really late, and then he went to go get the kids. He didn't see my text message, I guess, but I asked him to go get them because I was so tired. It's raining. Anyway, I have the tea from yesterday. I feel, I need a stool. I moved all the stools away from the island because the food was here, and I didn't think it was gonna be a good place for all the girls to sit and eat. Stanley is my tripod today. Okay, this is a black tea that I couldn't have last night because I had three dots of caffeine. Mm -hmm. Smells like a black tea. Tastes like a black tea. It's a black tea. I might have to take this off. It's gonna make me very hot. When I had this on Friday, all I had was tea in the morning and it was definitely not enough caffeine. How much is two dots and three dots of caffeine? Because a cup of coffee is like 80 milligrams of caffeine and I usually have two, so I have 160 milligrams and that usually is fine for me. But when I went to Publix and did all the running around before party prepping, oh my gosh, I thought that I was just going to fall asleep. That Celsius drink helped though. I hope this does the trick today though because I washed the little container that goes in my coffee grinder. It's wet now, so I can't grind the coffee, and I'm hoping it dries before Danny wakes up so I can grind some coffee. I did not plan that far ahead. I should have dried it out last night, but I'm not gonna should all over myself this morning. I'm having a nice, quiet morning. I don't know if I'm supposed to do coffee at my friend's house today, but if not, I'd be fine with that because I kinda wanna sit and relax. Three dots of caffeine, by the way. So I'm hoping for the best. Plan of the day, I want to finish the garland. I want to meal plan, go over Addie's plans for her birthday. I'm gonna bake my sourdough today, that is happening. My sourdough last night, it was just hours, just mere hours. It must not like the all-purpose flour. Now that I let it rise so it's twice as much, it's doubled in size, I stuck it in the fridge, now I don't know what to do with it. What do I do with it? It's already risen. I need to do some research, so I'm gonna add that to my list, I'm gonna research. I think I'm gonna go edit while this cools off a little bit. I just got to chat with Danny for a little bit. He is, did he leave yet? Yeah, he left already. He's having to work the bar again. Usually he's just a bar back. He bartended last night because one of our bartenders got sick. I think I told you that. Anyway, he's back at it today. Ah, such is the life of owning a pub or owning a small business, really. It just takes him away from the house more often. He's away. Like yesterday, it was like all day. He didn't come home till probably two. I talked with him a little bit about how I was feeling about going to the pub. I really was tapped out from this week from socializing and being around people. And he just, he just knew, he picked up on it. Shouldn't be a mystery. We are the same in that aspect. We just, at a certain point, we just can no longer people. I just didn't feel like being screamed to in a loud space. And I didn't feel like when people want to talk to you and you don't want to talk to them. <laughs> That's the other thing. I didn't budget for a night out and I'm not mad about it. We budgeted for birthday parties and things like that. Maybe I'll talk about our how we do our budget in, an, in like another vlog, because this is all about Christmas anyway. I'm sure all my introverts can understand. I think there needs to be some credit in recognizing when you just cannot. Well, come on, Gunny. Do you want to come up? Of course you do. You stay on your end, okay? Don't come to my end. Did you blurp? But just 
recognizing when you just cannot and it's ultimately about your own mental health for me i'm i know when i'm i'm i've reached my limit and the last thing i want to do is push it because then i just i don't know i feel i don't feel good about i don't feel good about it oh my best friend look at her she's so pretty what's she doing oh so she's holding a coast guard flag they had sort of uh they had a she was invited by the Daughters of the American Revolution to go and put flags on wreaths at a, a cemetery. And because she has her flag, has her photo up in the town where she lives, she's, you know, representing the Coast Guard and that's how we met. She, we were both in the Coast Guard when we became friends. But it, it wasn't until like after we got out, after she got out, that after both of us got out, that we um, became really good friends. Anyway, she was asked to represent the Coast Guard yesterday at that wreath, wreath laying ceremony where she would put the flag, the Coast Guard flag, on the wreaths, like little mini ones, like the one she was holding. And um, I thought that was so cool. I love that they do that, and that I loved that they invited her. Gunny, what, what? Anyway, I'll just be sitting here, right here, editing this video. I just got done editing a video, and now I want to watch some Vlogmas videos. That's how I treat myself. Kind of a wet day out there today. Oh, that's what, that is what she was talking about. I was trying to figure out what Disco Liz was talking about when she asked if they were frozen or just cold. Okay, Jacqueline just helped me out. She sent me a few voice messages to help me out with my sourdough journey. She doesn't measure, and I told her when I responded that he gives me anxiety thinking about that. <laughs> like, how do you not measure? I'm going to pull this out. Oh my gosh, it's very cold. My sour sourdough batch from last night. This is one of them. I'm gonna start the process. I think the refrigerator is in the refrigerator. It's supposed to bulk ferment for 24 hours. You know what, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it back, I'm gonna do it tonight. I'm gonna do it at seven. We'll start it then, because that's gotta rest for five to 10 minutes, then it's got to rise one to two hours, and then you bake it for 40 to 45 minutes. Oh, that might be a long day. Do I want to do that? I need to do a little bit more research. I think I'm gonna put it back in the fridge though. I got this Kringle at Aldi. And I've only ever had one Kringle before. Um, oh, that's neat. I did not know it's the official state pastry of Wisconsin. I do know that they come from Wisconsin. Oh, maybe it's made by the same company. Trader Joe's makes Kringles of like four or five different flavors. I, My favorite is uh, the almond because it's, I don't know, I like it the best. But if you don't know what a Kringle is, it is a pastry and it's got a little bit of a filling. This is raspberry as you've seen. And it's also very sweet. I like to have it with a tea or a coffee, but I don't think we have, oh yeah, we do have more coffee. All right, so I'll have it with some coffee and I'll tell you if this compares to Trader Joe's. I like getting these around the holidays, but I've not tried this one. See, there's a very thin layer. I think Trader Joe's is actually thicker. I know it's definitely bigger than this. It comes in like a whole paper sleeve and it's this whole tray could fit inside. You know what? I'm going to have it with water. Let's try it. And this is one pastry I don't ever feel like I want to learn how to make. I'm just going to buy it from Trader Joe's or whoever sells it. I don't usually get the fruit, but this would be very good with the tea. Probably the tea I drank this morning. Yeah. Or black coffee to... Um, help with the uh, sweetness. It is very sweet, but the kids will enjoy that when they wake up. Let's go watch some YouTube videos now. Me, my water, and my crinkle. Hmm, where's the bunny? What are you doing? <laughs> I 
What are you doing, man? Okay, bye. Oh my gosh, you're so fast. Are we doing this again? Are we? Just can't leave him alone. This is honestly not a complaint. I just want to say <laughs> that I, when I feel like I've caught up on YouTube videos, another one pops up. It is a good problem to have, especially when, you know, I've had some down days this vlogmas season because of various reasons that I've already talked about. When I watch other people's videos, it makes me happy and it makes me feel like, ah, oh, you know, watching other people that I relate to. Anyway, I'm getting ready or I need to. I made some protein pancakes yesterday. I'm going to have some as an afterthought. I ate that Kringle that I cut, but I did not enjoy it. I do not, here's a fun fact, I do not like jams and jellies and fruit filling, except for a few key things, which I cannot think of right now, but I will tell you, I do not like cooked fruit or jams and jellies. And if I do have jam or jelly, it's usually a very, a very thin layer. Although I do like fruit spread. Is that what it's called? Fruit paste, sorry, fruit paste. I like fruit paste that I can buy at, um, you can buy that at Publix. If you order it online, it's gonna be like three times as expensive, but it comes from Norway, I think. Are you getting ready? I told Lennox I would take him to the thrift store and I need him to get ready because he's been asking me since Friday and I'm feeling pretty good right now. Even though it is raining, I'm feeling pretty positive. When you're not in the mood to do something, it's really hard and you get really, you just kind of get like annoyed easily, you know what I mean? I don't want to be that way with my kids. I don't want to be that way with anybody. Like, when I'm feeling a certain way, I don't want to force myself to do anything. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, Friday night at the party, one of McKin one of Sydney's friends knocked over the, um, one of my plants. <laughs> and I swept it into this little corner to deal with later because I couldn't find the dustpan. And it was wet soil because I had just watered the plant. Rephrase. I'm warm up a uh, I'm gonna warm up some protein pancakes that I made on Friday. Eat that because one o'clock the store opens that Lennox wants to go to. I think the girls are coming with me. I don't know what they're looking for, but it doesn't hurt to check it out. And I think I have some spare money somewhere that I might wanna get some gifts for other people while I'm there. See what I can find. You know, it's always fun to try to find a treasure or something. And I saw on Facebook that they've got new festive items in the stalls. So this place is like huge and it's broken down into stalls. I don't know what else to call it. I think it's stalls. They have different sellers, multiple sell vendors, I should say. So I'm looking forward to seeing what is new there. What in the world did you do to your cage? Without this, he can't get on his cage. You've been having a party here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know. What the heck? Are you hungry? All right. So I think I'm gonna go get ready. I've got boots. I'm gonna need those because it's raining. We went to a thrift store. Well, the one I was telling you about. I don't think you can count it as a thrift store. It's more like consignment that things are affordable. But Whoa. let me show you, let, let, I'm gonna let Dee Dee show you what she got. <laughs> so I got these earrings. Uh, oh, it's a little snowman inside. How cute. Ooh. Next I got these two By the ones. way, she just had her ears pierced in October, right? Uh-huh. Okay, She's been happens. like dying to get new earrings. <gasps> these are my favorite. Like, these are so cute. 
Yeah, those are really cute. There's no, there's no being quiet with these. No, you're not sneaking. Raider yeah. will, Raider's gonna find you. Obviously, he's he's insane. I got these earrings. <clears throat> these are very. I didn't broken do that. now. It's okay. You landed on the ground. Let me see what they feel like. There was a lot of these. Anyways, yeah, there were a lot of different colors too. Almost on a budget. What about those? Oh, these. Oh, yeah, I got these earlier. Oh yeah, that's right. I ate that. I was on a bu budget. So. She's a baller on a budget. I was a baller on a budget. <laughs> <laughs> I said that to you. You didn't react. No, I, I don't think I heard you. Okay, I will show you some things that I bought. This is good. Uh, My most prized thing. Well, I didn't buy much. I didn't buy much of anything for myself, except I got this cute vase. I thought that I could put water in it when I have to microwave water. Let me see how well it pours first. Cause you know, some things with spouts don't pour very well. Oh, this is a good pour. You see that? It pours really well. So I got this so I could put water in it when I put it in the microwave and it could cool a little bit and then this I could dump good. it into my sourdough starter. Oh, that, that stuff's good. And then I got a new Christmas mug. I thought I had two, but I put one down. Look. And it's double-sided. Double-sided. And it's got a little design inside. It's like trees, you see that? So pretty. And it's a Jessica Simpson. Home. Look at my mug, guys. She got it for me. Where'd you get it? At the thrift store. I told them about it already. Aww. And we're heating up pizza back there. So. And I gotta do my sourdough, and I've got meatballs. We're having pasta tonight. My starter is chilling. Literally chilling. I'm gonna, I need to eat some lunch though, because I might have other things that I bought that I didn't Look remember. Look, Dee Dee ate the whole Kringle. <laughs> I just got real tired, like really tired all of a sudden. And Addy too. I hope that it's just the fact that we hit, you know, three o'clock. Oh gosh, it's so windy. I forgot to tell you, we have a tornado watch. It's very windy, I almost couldn't shut that door. Yeah, I sound like I'm not concerned about the tornado watch. I mean, I just remember when I opened the door. While we were in the thrift store, someone, the owner was like, there's a tornado watch. And of course it was like, the wind was blowing their door open and the alarm you know the ring kept going off so anyway tornado watch december 17th 2023 a few years ago we had a tornado watch or tornado warning i remember it was like almost 70 degrees or i think it was 70 degrees and it was christmas eve i believe because we were chatting with my family on the portal doing a video chat and we had the doors open and they were like, how warm is that over there? I wanna do tea time. See, I set it up right here. Maybe I'll just leave it here. It does look kind of pretty, right? If I just moved it over, you know? Anyway, let's do this. I hope there's no caffeine. Ooh, it's low caffeine. France, of course it's France, it's lavender. Okay, I can do this. I'm actually excited about this. Let's do it. I'm waiting for my tea, my hot water. Oh, I need a tea bag. I'm so tired. I hope that <laughs> my sleep deprivation is not catching up to me. I don't want to get sick. I would not be surprised if I did. I've been running on like five hours, six hours of sleep. Oh, smells very floral. Danny is still at the pub. My battery's about to die. I'll change it out as soon as I'm done. I'm just gonna let it die on me. Let's see where it goes. Oh, look, there's all these different bits and... But that's the actual lavender in here. Anyway, he's at the pub. I hope he knows that there's a tornado watch. Oh my God. I don't, I feel like I should be watching. It looks crazy out there. Where he is, I, I am sure he's gonna be safe. Three to five minutes. It smells so floral. I might have to sit down for a little bit. I'm exhausted. I can't remember whose vlog I commented on, but I've been, maybe it was Raina's. I've been going on like five, six hours of sleep. Some nights it's just like four or five hours. And I go all day long, all day, all day long, 
all day long. I don't stop until bedtime. And sometimes I wake up and I know I didn't get good sleep. It feels like I, I sometimes wake up and my, I'm like, my legs are still tired. Does that make sense? That sounds really weird. I might have to try this on the next battery though. Cause it's about to die. I'm loving you got when you guys share your YouTube channels of people that you're watching. Look at this ringlet, this curl. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, Lennox, our, our donut floaty is going to fly away. Come on, Gunny. I'm real, real tired now. I could just take the rest of the night off and do nothing, but I really wanted to wrap because that sounded like it was going to be relaxing to me. I like to wrap. I like to put gifts together. My one-sided mug. Ooh, this is nice. Mm. Still a little, a little hot though. I do like that I left it in for three minutes and not five. I think I'm gonna watch a YouTube video. I mean many, I need to catch up. That sounds really nice. I'm making a gift. I don't know who I'm gifting it to, but I'm making a pair of, I'm making a pair of leggings. And I used my leg as a size reference because I thought I was gonna give it to one of Sydney's friends, but I need to make three pairs and I don't even know if she'll wear them. I'm gonna get my phone. I'm gonna get my crochet stuff. That's right here. We're gonna get busy. I'm cheating and I cut the wick earlier, so. What can I say, you guys? I'm just tired. Oh, this is gonna smoke a lot. I wish I could turn the power of this flame down, though. This is like a flamethrower. Jeez. I did want to talk about something. I did want to talk about... What are they doing? What's your boys doing? Get them. Get them, Gunny. I want them bully you like that. They don't play often, but when they do, it's a very short, like five minute session. I wanted to give gifts this year. I know it's so late when you're getting a gift for me, it's gonna be late because December birthdays and I got busy. I wanted to give people something from North Carolina. One of the things that they do here is they take oyster shells and they paint them. And this one's very elaborate. I got this at one of the shows for Lennox. They had an art show um, out in like the lobby area where you could go and buy all kinds of stuff. But they paint oyster shells. And I always thought they just did like, like they paint designs or they paint like a plain one or whatever. This one's pretty cool because it's more like Mod Podge. And Mod Podge allows you to put paper onto surfaces and you can tell it's, it's still bumpy it's curved so they really worked the mod podge in there and it just feels really cool but here are a lot of things about north carolina first you got the state the, sh the shape of the state well part of it and there's the outer banks and there's the barbecue festival we have a huge barbecue festival here i don't know what that is this this is for music like bluegrass um of course you got the biltmore right here there's the cardinal, the state bird, the Blue Ridge Mountains. Those are awesome to see. And then duck donuts. I have a vlog actually where we, we stayed at Black Mountain camping. It was a camping experience and I slept in a hammock outside of the tent. And I showed the view from where we were staying and it was so beautiful. It, this is what it reminds me of. But duck donut originated in duck North Carolina, the Outer Banks. This is a shell, nothing too fancy on the outside. I'm sure it's been cleaned and mod podged over to make it, you know, stay shiny. And then the inside is just this whole design. And I think this one looks really pretty. I finally got myself one, finally, and I love it. Let's put on some YouTube. One last thing I wanted to show you. This is the legging. Can you, you can't really see. This is a legging. Okay. I mean a leg warmer, not a legging. It's like a, wow, I made this really long. Oh my gosh. I hope it can be scrunched up. But yeah, this is the legging. 
and I if you for a younger girl her leg is going to be smaller but she can scrunch it up fold it down whatever Sydney and her friends are in dance and I figured I mean this isn't the color they do pink and black I was just trying it I mean they don't have to keep it and the second one I'm not too far behind and get a new color because there's a lot of people coming and I want to make sure my mom can take some home feel like having an adult beverage I'm gonna make one it's not festive but I'll show you how I make my version of a margarita I never actually did make the margarita because I didn't have the ingredients well I goofed I do not have the ingredients sadly I'm going to have to add this which I was trying to do a low sugar drink. I, I ran out of club soda. I'm not trying to do Sprite. It's got a drink on the back for a mule. I don't have vodka though. I don't think. Nope. I've got some Coro. We own a pub. In sale as a bartender. Alright, this is what I'm gonna have to do. It's a twist off. Yes. First, we're going to, I've already washed my lime. I know Disco Liz asked me why I washed it, but it's because I'm breaking the skin. I've just always washed the fruit. If I'm breaking the skin and the knife is going in, I don't know. I could just be like, I don't want to say OCD because I, I don't think I am. I washed my lime. I like mine more limey. I'm just squeezing the lime into the mixing cup. This could be really bad. This is not the right alcohol. I just wanted to have something. I got the ice. Ice from the fridge just to chill the liquor and the juices. I'm not going to measure. It's about a shot. This could end badly. One big rock. I wish it was more festive. I'm a little scared. Cheers. Oh, that's very limey. <laughs> yep, one day I'll learn how to be a proper bartender. For now, I'm just gonna stir with knives. It does taste like a meal though. Put this out, this bottle. It's not the best drink I've made. I do want to try some things. This doesn't count as my holiday drink, just want to let you know that. I need to actually try a real one. I need to make a real one. It's not bad though, but I really didn't want a Moscow mule. I didn't want sugar. I really do not want sugar. And the drink I was gonna make you is just perfect. So we came up with it. Well, I didn't come up with it. My best friend here, her best friend from growing up, comes to our Thanksgivings and she makes this drink using a reposado tequila. I'm like, this is my new favorite drink. We were coming up with names for drinks at the pub and I was like, ooh, ooh, I want that drink to be mine. And so I have a drink named after me, but it's called The D. And it's kind of funny if you think about it. I mean, I don't know if you have the same sense of humor that I have. It's like, it looks strange. When you order it, think about it. It's not bad. I just really wasn't wanting the ginger beer. My all-time favorite noodle, the cavatappi. I have spaghetti um, pasta going in here. Oi. I put this in earlier today. And I actually had to mix two different sauces. One's a uh, arrabbiata, so kind of spicy, and then a marinara. Your Italian don't uh, come for me. I was trying. Oh boy, Danny wants me to look at a post. It is an Irish funeral. He's like, if this isn't my if this isn't my funeral again, I don't know what everyone's who's viewing this. I don't know your sense of humor, so I 
apologize if this is offensive, but he said, if this isn't my funeral, I'll haunt all of you. So it's an Irish funeral, a funeral in Ireland, a wake, if you will, and they are playing a band. They're in a doing dancing. It's really loud. And they're dancing and just having a good time. Hello Barbie. Oh. And they also have, it's a replacement for a video called Barbie. Oh. She got banned because of the FBI. Because we were attacking them. You know, you should get that mozzarella. This might be good with a little mozzarella. Mozzarella? Hi, I like mozzarella. Because I didn't know if you got to have a snowman over here. to only drinking unhealthy drinks on the weekends because I'm dehydrated. I'm glad you recognize that. It's probably why you have had a headache. Probably. I'm done eating. Um, the, the rain has picked up. Now the tornado watch has been extended. That looks so spooky out there. The tornado watch has extended to um, 10 o'clock. Danny is still not home though. Oh gosh, I'm getting ready to oh, crochet a little bit. Oh. Um, we just went to the antique store a few hours ago and we're gonna go on March 30th next year because they have an antique store. They have an, our antique store has a, um, Collectibles yeah, sale? Yeah, collectible sale. And it's also including Barbies. Mm-hmm. Collectible Barbies. Yep. So I'm going. I'm gonna go and save my money. <laughs> anyway, I'm watching our little gingerbread house right now. It's a long video, but I really appreciate it because I was doing stuff in the kitchen and I needed like one thing to focus on. But now I've moved it to my TV in the living room so I can watch it in here. And I got my little drink. I was letting it water down some. It's not the tequila, it's the ginger beer. Like I said, I didn't want the sugar. Anyway, I'm gonna start a new knitting project. I don't know what it's gonna be. I'm thinking of making Starbucks sleeves for the drinks. I think that would be really cute. I'm gonna have to borrow a Starbucks, a Starbucks cup though, like a venti, but I'm gonna do that because I think it'd be so cute. Especially when it's all wet and you're trying to just get a hold of it. I'm gonna borrow this one. I made the leggings, I finished those. I don't know if I'm gonna gift those. Oh gosh, I hope he's out there and I hope he's safe. Not out there, but you know what I mean. Hi boys, are you ready to settle down for the night? They're like, no mom, it's too early. I'm gonna do this and it's tapered. You know how they are. I'm going to try my best to make a Starbucks cozy. Maybe I'll gift those. I'll make a few. It is currently, is Danny home? <gasps> he's home. I was just gonna say he's been gone 12 hours. He's not seeing me. I'm waving, but he doesn't see me. I was just gonna get on here and tell you that he has been gone for 12 hours. 12 hours. He's gonna be tired. He's gonna be hungry. It smells like bread in here though. It smells so amazing. So I didn't show you the process, but I went ahead and baked my bread. And it smells so good. I'm gonna get off here because I'm gonna greet him and then I'll be right back. This is my sandwich bread. It's not great, but <sighs> it's whatever. Not have a, I did not have a good day baking today. It's all right. Cause you know what? Cause you know what? Tomorrow is a new day. I'm gonna try my second loaf. That will, will have been in the refrigerator for 48 hours. Maybe I can work some magic on that. I don't know, I'm testing, I'm testing. I didn't imagine both loaves would work out. But anyway, I'm about to go to bed because I guess I'm gonna try to go to the gym tomorrow. I will see you all for day 18.